these ladies RMs have just had a new half sole on there and we've fixed up the cork that was missing from in there. Now with the edge, where we've trimmed it, you can see how it all looks scuffed and that's how sometimes yours will get at home. This is some black dye, you can just use the black easy dye. If you're really stuck, you could use a sharpie marker just to blacken it all up the whole way around. Try not to drop the boot. Go the whole way around, get it all painted up like that. And while we're at it, we're going to do that heel block just to make them look nice. Because that was pretty scuffed up. It's been catching on an office chair or something. You can see already that's looking pretty shimmy. And then down into this welt area, we'll get a um, brush and some shoe polish. And we're going to get right down into there. And you can see on the uppers there, it's a bit white looking. We'll give it a coat of the easy dye all the way over the top of it. This is actually going to clean a little bit muck off. It softens it up. And then we'll cheat and use the machine and buff that off. And give it a good polish all over the top of that. Looks a little bit average at that point, but it's got a lot more colour into it. And it's got one of those grey bits. Now I'll add some polish on to it. Finish off the shine with a corduroy pad, works really well. And really, I've put a bit much polish on, so it hasn't dried properly yet. Here's the other one that I was just doing, it's ready for its final buff. You can see it's getting pretty shiny already. You can hear it sounds different too. There's not much, um, that coarse sound's gone away. So, that's something you can do at home just a bit of polish, a bit of easy dye, and you also see underneath we've given this one a polish. Just keeps the leather from drying out and it makes them look tidier as well.